So I'm just now unlocking the last things in the manufacturing facility. So let's now walk you through them all. Uh, just got to get rid of that, whatever that is. That won't get off my screen. Why won't that get off my screen? Whatever. Okay, so in our first menu, um, we've unlocked our six um, deposit thingies and our four technology components. So we've, we've already done plenty about these, so don't really need to go into them. Um, we've unlocked the hydrothermal fuel cell, which will be for our Nautilus submarine later. It's how we power it. Our unstable plasma for um, our grenades just recharges them when we run out of them. And I think we already had oxygen capsule anyway. All right, we've unlocked our starship battery, our star shield battery, which is a much much better version of the ion battery and advanced ion battery, but it is specifically for your ship. All right, um, so it basically uh, instead of using up lots of resources to recharge your ship's shield if you're getting damaged you can just use one of these and it will fill it all the way um, and like you can see they're quite easy to um, build just out of tritium and gold which you can get out of the asteroids in space anyway so super handy thing um, I'll unlock that let's pass 1, 2 and 3 and we'll make the version 3 any second now and the warp pipe core that I mentioned before um, you need storm crystals and antimatter 4 but they will complete the um, refill your hyperdrive in one whereas your warp cells can take like up to five sometimes to fill it fill up your hyperdrive and they last a lot longer as well um, okay so over to our valuable products so we already had our acid lid current unstable gel glass polyfiber liquid explosive liquid gas heat capacitor circuit board um, so they form the, the first part of the high-end crafting which we will go into um, very shortly um, but you end up within all that process you end up with circuit boards living glass and liquid explosive and you'll have used up the rest to get those three things okay now that brings us to thermic condensate nitrogen salt and enriched carbon you make them out of the very three various gases so radon nitrogen and sulfurine and you, you just add condensed carbon to them and it creates these three things okay now you will use a lot of these three things in order to um, build organic catalysts semiconductors hot ice which you'll then make these out of so fusion accelerant superconductor and cryopump and you make them again by adding more of these three. So your fusion accelerator, you start with your organic catalyst and you add some nitrogen salt. You've got your organic catalyst in the first place by having thermic condensate and enriched carbon. So you've used all three, one, two, three, to make your fusion accelerant. And here your semiconductor uses thermic and nitrogen and then enriched carbon to make the semiconductor. So you've used all three again. Okay, the cryo pump, thermic, enriched and nitrogen. So you've used all three. So you use one of each of the three to create these three and then these three replacing them. Okay. Then once you've got these three, you will um, be creating portable reactors using the fusion accelerant and the liquid explosive. I'm going to put a thing up that shows a variety of different guides up in picture form in a minute that shows you these laid out a little better. Um, your quantum processors you are going to create using these circuit boards from over here and these superconductors. Okay. And the cryogenic chambers you are going to create using the cryo pump and the living glass. Okay, so having done that, you're now left with these three items. Okay, and you will create two quantum processors for each one of these. 
The reason being is that you need a quantum processor with the portable reactor and you need a quantum processor with the cryogenic chamber. Okay. So as you can see, the first one is the fusion igniter and we will be using that quantum processor, that portable reactor, and we will be adding to it geodesite which was made out of three of these rocks above, the Dirty Bronze, the Herox and the Lemium. Alright, one, two, three. Alright, they created the Geodesite and we are adding the Geodesite to create the Fusion Igniter. Now the Stasis Device is the other ones, so we've got our Quantum Processor, we've got our Cryogenic Chamber and we've got the Iridocyte, which we made using our Aronium, Magna Gold and Grantine. Okay. Stasis devices and fusion igniters sell for 16 million each. So this process is very much worth it. And it becomes even more worth it when you realise that doing the space station missions, right, nets you a bunch of these items completely for free. Alright? So you will end up with a lot of these things in your inventory anyway if you're just doing missions from the space station and from the Nexus on the anomaly. You'll just end up with them in your in your inventory. But instead of just selling them off straight away, put them together to make more expensive items right? until you get to these two, at which point sell them off because that's as high as they get. Okay. So that was our last manufacturing facility. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll stop recording the video for just a second and we'll have a look at the various um, picture guides. go from there. Okay. okay, so we've got a variety of different guides here um, about the high-end crafting, so let's look through them. First of all, we have this one, which is basically just the uh, actual layout I would have it in um, in game. So you've got your um, enriched carbon, nitrogen salt, thermic condensates along the top. And basically what you do then is you use your plants to create polyfiber and heat capacitor, which you put together to make a circuit board. Okay, you use your plants to make glass and lubricant, which you put together to make living glass. You use your plants to create acid and unstable gel, put them together to make liquid explosive. And again, I've got the circuit boards on that side as well, all right? So you're creating more polyfiber heat capacitors and therefore circuit boards than your liquid explosive and living glass because we're going to use more of them, okay? So then you've got your circuit boards there ready, but you create your hot ice and then cryo pump and out of your um, three at the top again. All right, and then from this side, your organic catalysts and then fusion accelerants out of these at this side again. All right, and you put your fusion accelerants and liquid explosives together to make your portable reactors. Put your living glass and your cryo pumps together to make your chambers. All right. Meanwhile, you've collected your rocks to make iridocyte and geodesite. You've been putting your superconductors and uh, sorry, semiconductors and superconductors on from both sides, which again you created using your three things up here, All right? To make your quantum processors by adding the circuit board. So semiconductor and circuit board makes your quantum processors. Reactor processor geodesite becomes fusion igniter. Living glass cryo pump. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Chamber, processor, and iridocyte become stasis device, and you're done there. So, next version, um, essentially the same thing, just laid out slightly differently. So let's zoom in a bit. Yeah. So, again, you're using these three to create these three, and then these three. And you're putting the circuit boards and liquid explosives and living glass into the mix to make what is not called freight fuel anymore, um, and your cryogenic chamber, and then adding the iridocyte and quantum processors, or geodesite, to make your final things. Okay, let's zoom it back out. 
All right, so this is another version. So this, this one has opted to have the individual things at the top. So let's zoom in a bit and have a look at one of them at a time. So your nitrogen, sulfurine and radon along with condensed carbon and make your three thingies. Those are the plants you need to make heat capacitor and polyfiber. And all that combines to make quantum processor. Come over here and again you've got your gases with condensed carbon. You've got your copyright gamma root and frost crystal to make glass and lubricant to make living glass. And all this combines together to make your cryogenic chamber. Over here you've got your gases and carbon again, condensed carbon again. Um, oh no that's sorry that's the all of it everything you need. So yeah over here you've got your um your rocks basically now i don't recommend actually making them using these things because you're going to come across most of these anyway you're not really going to need to make them up um, but they'll combine to make a site. put all three together to make your stasis device okay and then it's the same concept at the bottom all right you just got your gases and your flowers put them all together to make your circuit board and therefore your quantum processor, your liquid explosives and therefore portable reactors and your rocks and therefore geodesite put them all together fusion igniter. Yeah, nice and easy. Okay, so this is another version just in icon form. Let's leave it up for just a second. Okay, another version. So it points out that you can refine these in a circle, okay, by adding some ferrite dust. Yep, so it's pointing out that um, you can use a little bit of extra ferrite dust to switch which one you've got. So your uranium can become pyrite, which can become paraffinium, which can become ammonia, which can become dioxide, which can become phosphorus, which can become uranium. You can go round and round in circles just eating up a little bit of ferrite dust at a time. Um, so if it's two earth metals plus one ferrite dust, then putting in 50 pyrite and 25 ferrite dust is gonna get you 25 paraffinium. Yeah. So here we've got the plant versions then, and it tells you how many uh, minutes it takes to grow them like how much you actually need to be planting of each based on like how many plants it uh, creates but any second now we're going to be building a base together using um biodomes which will give us exactly the right amounts that we need okay so anyway those create your main things which go together to make liquid explosive living glass and circuit boards um, of course you've got your rocks down the bottom to make geodesite and iridocyte and then up the top you've got your stuff that you use your gases to create the three and then you use the three to create these three and then these three put them all together for those three things portable reactor cryogenic chamber quantum processor and you get your fusion igniter and stasis device. Do we have any other versions? Let's have a look. I'll just one for the stasis device, which I unfortunately don't have a version for the fusion igniters for. I think it looks kind of cool. And that's it. So on to building the base.